What if dinosaurs never went extinct? Today we are answering just that question with Spore, starting from the very first life to the dinosaurs and past the asteroid that missed. Our story begins with an asteroid flying through space hurtling towards our prehistoric Earth, which at the time was only populated by giant pineapples. A lot of people leave out that fact. But this was no ordinary asteroid. No, you see, this asteroid was pregnant. As the asteroid hit the water, it gave birth to a beautiful baby cell. And it didn't take long for the cell to adapt to its new surroundings. And it quickly started making friends with the other cells. The cell's favorite game to play was called Runaway, I'm going to suck you now. It was very popular. But not everyone took kindly to the cell. There was one who strongly disliked the game of Runaway, I'm going to suck you now. As it made him very uncomfortable. So uncomfortable, in fact, that he became very aggressive towards our cell. Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. But the cell had an idea. Maybe he could scare off the predator by mating in front of him. The plan seemed to be working at first, but the predator was so enraged by this blatant disrespect to his religious beliefs that he then ate the cell's new lover. Did he just eat my mate? This traumatized the cell and it died of a broken heart. You know what? We've already made it. I don't care what happens to it at this point. But the mating had produced an offspring. This new cell was much quicker than his parents, allowing him to never lose a game of Runaway, I'm going to suck you now. Oh, what's that? You wanna you wanna taste? You wanna taste? Well, sorry, sucker. I'm I'm a fast boy now. Sorry, sucker. I, I'm technically the sucker. Look at me right now. I'm sucking all the things. Doing all the sucking. Oh, just stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. I was doing all the sucking. How dare you interrupt my sucking. In fact, it was so efficient in sucking that it kept flying into vegetables, causing a problem. Oh, we got a problem. All of this vegetable eating we've been doing is leading us on to the wrong path. You see, sooner or later, we are going to be turning into dinosaurs, big scary dinosaur things. So here is my idea. I do love the look of our cell right now, but it is causing us problems. So let's see if we can get the same look just without all the vegetable eating. Okay, this should work. This should work. And so the cell sucking days were over and oh god, that is nasty. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. With the new look, a new power emerged. The power of... Oh, I can't be penetrated. Hey, look at this guy having all these issues while he's trying to penetrate me. Ah, I am the one penetrating you. I am the penetrator. Word got around town about the new vigilante, the penetrator. I am the penetrator. <laughs> and quickly, criminal cells started ganging up on our cell. How? You're not supposed to be able to penetrate me. Huh? Oh, apparently it is extremely simple to penetrate us. I, th I thought this was a difficult task at the very least. Nope, we're just giving it out to everybody, aren't we? Okay, everybody gets a taste. We had lost all respect in the ocean. Now everybody wanted to penetrate the penetrator. Embarrassed, the cell pondered on alternative paths to taking life. And just then it found an egg that had been left by its mother. This was a sign. It was decided. The new path would be motherhood. After months of guarding the egg, it finally hatched. But the egg shell must have been very thin as the babies had already heard about the reputation of its new legal guardian. What is- Oh, oh, no! No, not again! Stop it. Stop it. Stop. St stop. D this is impossible. I wonder how many I can collect. Okay, so we got three right now. There's another egg right here. I'm gonna wait until it hatches. I feel like a mama duckling. Yes, come on, my babies. Oh, they got distracted. No, no. Another member of my own species is taking over my ducklings. You have started the war of the ducklings. No, you killed my ducklings. Oh, oh, I'm eating my ducklings. Oh, why why am I not stopping? Oh, this is delicious. Why, why, why do I keep on going? The eating of the ducklings cemented the fate of the cell. Word got around and the cell got kicked out of the ocean for willingly endangering children and, th and then eating them. The cell now had new challenges to face. To walk on land, it had to grow some legs and a pair of lungs. And so it did. The cell became a fish guy. A little, little fish dude. The fish guy left the ocean along with all of the other banished members of the sea. Except for Bob. He was too senile and just kind of went with the crowd. As this guy got used to his new legs, he came across a large gravesite of an apparent genocide. 
There were bones all over the place, which confused the fish guy as he was the first land animal. Alright, so I picked up all the bones near my nest. And since this video is supposed to revolve around the dinosaurs, I don't think we are going to stay in this form for much longer. In fact, I believe it is already time to do the mating. Somebody make love to me now. Okay. Pause, pause it. Let's, uh, let's just fast forward to the middle of the Triassic period. The fish guy was now a Niasosaurus, the first dinosaur. Being up to three meters long, our dino could now run. The dino ran far and wide to discover all of the amazing wonders this world had to offer. Oh, what, are what is that? Those are mad asteroids, and that's, that's a big stone pineapple okay cool this this planet is weird so we barely had any parts which is my excuse for this awful looking dinosaur right here so our mission during this first stage as a dinosaur is to get as many parts as possible so future dinosaurs will at least be uh, semi good looking better than this at least hopefully what is this more angry asteroids why is this a problem that i have i cannot go anywhere without encountering angry asteroids but all all of this exploring had made our dino hungry, but then he remembered a dish he used to enjoy. No, he had sworn he would never eat another baby for as long as he lived. He would never stoop so low ever again. Hello, I am deeply sorry for the inconvenience, but I am growing hungry, so I shall kill your baby now. God damn it. At least I am polite about it. <gasps> the baby's dead. The baby is dead. Now eat. Okay, okay, pause it again. Guys, we can't show any of this on YouTube. Stop stop having sex and stop eating children. And most importantly, stop doing the two at the same time. Our dino went back to exploring when he found something very peculiar. Oh, what are you eating? Who are you eating? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 I, I, this was not an invitation. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. A rival that was stronger than him. Yeah, no, we, we need an upgrade. To remain the alpha, our dino was now a Herarosaurus at the cusp of the Triassic period. Our dino felt better. Gone were the days of being scared. The earth would tremble before our might. Now, to test this theory, our dino luckily found tiny replicas of our earth in the form of living life forms. This was very odd, but since our dino had the brain of a peanut, it did not strike him as very odd. With his new powerful vocal cords, he roared. But the Earths did not have ears. But our dino showed mercy. I, I said our dino showed mercy. Our dino showed mercy. Come on, man. Gross. <gasps> There's a baby. Oh, I want to say hi to the baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I greet a little bit too aggressively. It's, it's a problem. Baby cow. No. No, I don't think it is. I think that's something else. That's not a cow. I've been teaching my son about cows, and I, I for one, do not think that's a cow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need, I need an ally. Okay, it's either the cows or these guys. Okay, fine. Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, 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 God. Oh, scared. Oh, I got scared. Oh, run away. <laughs> run, run, run. I got so scared that the only word I could mutter was just scared. Ah, scared. What just happened? All right, we need to head back home. But it was a long way home. And with his hunger increasing with every step he took, our dino did not make it. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> is, that <laughs> is that how he dies? He just... Uh, Sits down? Oh, that's a peaceful death. Fast forward to the Jurassic period. They made a movie about this one. Our dino was now Dilophosaurus. And as luck would have it, it was during the start of the Jurassic period when humans first started showing up. Not, not accurate? What do you mean not accurate? Look at them pink boys. What is, what is that? Wait a minute. Oh, those are the humans. Humans. Aggressive, smelly, naked apes. This was a challenge that our dino was not ready for. But he roared and charged, killing his first human. You wanna go too? You wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, that's what I thought. The dino walked away knowing the war was now over. Wait, never mind. The humans didn't want to give up. In fact, the humans had already cancelled our dino on Twitter for its multiple controversies. The dino went back to inform the rest of his pack. And they agreed to go show the humans a lesson. So the dinos went to track down the human nest. Alright, where are these humans? 
Ah, there they are. Oh, it's a whole pack full of them. All right, we don't want the dinosaurs to go extinct. And these guys are very famous for getting species to go extinct. We can't take any chances. Wait, the baby. The baby is isolated from the rest of the pack. Now's our chance. Now's our chance. Oh, hi. Hi, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I just go. Just pet. Wait. Oh, stupid bone. Stupid bone. Wait, no. The freaking bone. Stop my momentum. It's no problem. It's no problem. I still got this. And the baby is dead. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Apparently, they, they like their babies. They apparently like their babies. Abort. Abort the mission. Oh, okay. Note it. Humans like babies. Don't don't mess with their babies. All right, the humans seem to have an advantage over us. They got thumbs. So we need to find something so that we can also have some advantage over them. Hmm. What about wings? It's the late Jurassic and our dino was now a bird. I'm not I'm not saying that. That that's that's a word I will not be able to pronounce. It's just a bird. We got a bird with a new power of flight. The bird dino went to surveillance the human nest. But to his surprise, it seemed like the humans wanted to make peace. They had left out breakfast for our bird. Starving and thankful, the bird accepted the token of peace and... Oh, they seem to have changed their minds. Confused and angry, the bird left the human nest. And he went and told his pack about the mean prank that the humans just pulled. And together, they went to claim the eggs that the bird had been promised. But when they arrived at the human's nest, they witnessed why the humans had been so strong all along. Right in front of them, as clear as day, we got a flying egg. Sorcery. Their own offspring floating above their nest. This changed everything. The humans were too dangerous to take down now. Who knows what they were capable of? Eggs are still delicious though. That's right, we're crazy like that. But the demon egg of sorcery had done things to our dinosaur. The brain got larger and with it the ideas got grander. The humans wanted to play dirty? Fine, the dino would play dirty too. With this new powerful brain, the bird dino remembered an old friend. Oh, there you are. This plan was foolproof. We would take our big scary friend to meet the humans. Nothing could go wrong. Oh. Okay. Okay, from now on, nothing could go wrong. Ah, oh, no! Oh. Crap. All right, so I guess birds aren't that durable. We need an upgrade. Needing a more durable form, we traveled to the Cretaceous period. Our dino was now an Ankylosaurus. And with armor like that, this plan had to work. The dino tracked down the big scary monster. Hey, buddy. When disaster struck. Oh, no. Oh, that's not great. That is not fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 not now. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, and he already killed my first ally. This is, this is not great. I need to replace that dinosaur that I just lost. Yeah, I think I'm going for the baby. Let's take the baby with us. Yeah, it's totally appropriate. There you go, baby bean. You're, you're coming with us to fight the big scary monster. This time, there was no way of failure. With the help of baby bean... <gasps> oh, okay, well, with the help of his fellow dino friend. Oh, come on. On his own, the dino alerted the monster into the human nest. Oh, we're here. The humans ran in fear as the monster stomped into their territory. Oh, that is beautiful. But humans are dumb. And the humans started praising the monster, accepting him as their one and true savior. Oh, fuck. With the monster on the human side, the plan had backfired. It was time to leave. Stupid humans. Years passed and our dino was now a Triceratops. Determined to get rid of the humans, the dino went out looking for more faithful allies to join his cause. First he found a pack of Ankylosaurus of the inbred clan. Oh, wow, you guys have changed. The next dinos he tried to recruit were the Oviraptors, but they had fingers, and with it they had Twitter. Traitors! Uh, I guess the humans have already gotten to them. They have been brainwashed, the poor things. One of the raptors managed to escape and went to alert more allies of the humans. But just as they were about to strike... Aliens. What? Boom. What? While the aliens created the perfect distraction, the dinos could safely sneak away. Okay, that is that is horrifying. I'm gonna get out of here now. That's a good distraction though. 
The Dino continued to gain allies, eventually having recruited three representatives of three different tribes of dinos. Oh no! I just got that dinosaur! Oh, this is bad. Oh, you put him down right now. You put that dinosaur down. Poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. Oh, is he okay? Is he okay? Are you okay? Okay, he's okay. He's very traumatized. But he seems to be fine. Okay. Wow. Stay away from that guy. That guy got his use. After a long travel home, the dinos approached the human nest. And quickly, the fight began. The fight was too brutal for the humans to bear. And it didn't take long for them to surrender. We did it! and retreat to space. With the humans gone, the dino had finally claimed the title of Alpha. And as the years went by, our dino was now a Tyrannosaurus, the king of the dinos. Being the Alpha really suited our dino. Now that the humans were gone, he could eat as many babies as he pleased. That is, as long as no one was around to challenge him. The Homo erectus, <laughs> a slightly less naked version of the humans. If they were allowed to continue to live, they could eventually grow to overthrow our dino. They had to go. The human ancestors put up a good fight. Th those positions are just not... A Why did I make the butt cheeks? Why did I have to make the butt cheeks too? That is... That is definitely going to have to be censored. That is just the worst view. That is just the worst view possible. Shame on you. But just as the humans before them, they too had to evacuate the planet. I'm just gonna leave these guys here if that's okay. Okay. After hunting down every last living relative of the humans, the dino finally had no rivals. No one was there to tell him what to do or who to not eat. Yet, he felt sadness. Was it because the humans actually meant a great deal to him and without them, he felt lost? No, no, no. He had found a very pretty stick, but no matter how hard he had tried, he was unable to pick it up because of his abnormally small arms. But once some years had passed and our dino was now a velociraptor, he had stretched his arms enough to finally be able to pick up his stick. Meanwhile, Outside of our atmosphere, danger loomed. Hurtling towards our Earth, an asteroid was due to crash any minute now, and we all know what happens here. The asteroid hits, the dinos go extinct, the humans come back from their spaceships and build the pyramids with the aliens. We all know this, but in this parallel universe, the asteroid missed. Earlier we asked, what if dinosaurs never went extinct? They would have kept playing with their sticks. Eventually putting a bunch of them together to make shelters. They'd adopt all of the inbred dinos, where those dinos could live out their lives in peace. And most importantly, they would make bold fashion statements. Life would be good for the dinos if they never went extinct. That is, if they could stay that way. If you want to see how this story continues, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you will be alerted once the next video goes live. But while you wait, why not check out another series?